Welcome to Home Cinema and Tech Review. In this video, I'd like to show you what's the difference between the long throw ALR and the long throw regular screen. The difference is obvious, and I made it clear in my early videos with the ultra short throw ALR screens, but this time it is much cheaper because the long throw ALR screen material and the system is much cheaper considering uh, floor rising screens with UCT or USD ultra short throw laser projector screens. And basically projector cost is going down three times, maybe four times differences between the long throw and ultra short throw. That makes it obvious that you can create 100, 120 and 150 and above. Basically ultra short throw projectors are limited to 150 inch size up top, at least the ones that I see in the market and they basically they recommend 120 inch so if you want to go big 120 150 and above the only option that you have to get the best picture in a lit environment like this is the long throw alr screen i made a dedicated video with all the screen materials side by side to explain which one delivers which so this video is going to clearly show you what kind of a difference does it make with the long throw ALR screen. The projector is uh, Optimo UHD 35 4K gaming capable projector and it's above 3000 ansi lumen power. For this sort of screen, you at least need a 2000 and probably 2200, maybe 2500 ansi lumen real power because if you don't, these are like gray screens and it, they will consume a little bit of light. So minus gain is happening here so you have to put a lot of light into the screen but if you do if your projector is around 3000 which is easily reachable for these days standards you can, you can purchase a lot of different projectors from acer optoma banq whatever the brand that you like laser a bulb or led it doesn't matter they have huge contrast ratios and as you can see result is great is it worth it still is it it is worth it and in my opinion, instead of ultra short throw, I would go buy a long throw and long throw ALR screen combination like this. Because if you go to ultra short throw, your price is going to be triple for the projector, maybe two times and more for the screen. And screen will be having the limitation of up top 120 inch from the uh, floor rising screen UST projector screens. They are much more the uh, ambient light rejective like from that point of view long throw alr screens are reflecting light from here so if you have light source from here then they will reflect and lose a little bit of contrast compared to the ultra short throw alr screens but basically material is different and the cost is different is it worth it it is worth it in my opinion if i were do if i ever had a chance to do do it all over again well, if you have the budget, go for the most expensive UST and get the floor rising 120 and the job is done. The cost will be three or four times probably compared to the long throw and the cheap uh, long throw ALR screen. But if you don't have that budget and if you're going to use it casually, this is the best way to go. And I don't see any point that someone will recommend you, hey, this is a high gain white. I don't care about the gain. I only care about the contrast and I showed in my early video if you have white walls and white ceilings they will also get your contrast low because the light bounces back and comes to the screen. So the picture speak itself. Hope to see you in the next video. Home Cinema and Tech Review.